What's going on guys? Uh, it's Maple. I'm uh, reviewing the most anticipated game of 2015, in my opinion. Actually, maybe not, but I don't know. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I'm just going to hit some major points like graphics, gameplay, uh, the campaign, and, and the multiplayer and such. Um, now, if you don't know from my uh, re recent videos, I actually really like the Black Ops series. Black Ops 1 is one of my favorite games, definitely in like at least my top three Xbox games. Um, and Black Ops 2, I think, was a solid uh, sequel. I guess that's what it's called for games. Um, and I love the first campaign. The second campaign was good as well. It had Merle from The Walking Dead, which is pretty hilarious. Um, yeah, so the, the, the problem, the only pro all right, well, let me get to the graphics first. Now, obviously, it's a brand new console. Um, I think Advanced Warfare was on the one, too, but I don't mess with that because I heard it sucked. Um, so... This, I think, is going to be the, the most major, you know, Call of Duty as of yet on the Xbox One and PS4 systems. Um, and when I, this was uh, the first game I got for my, my One, which I got over for Christmas. Uh, the graphics amazed me at first. Now, some people hate Black Ops graphics, say they look too cartoony and the colors are too prominent. But I think them people are morons. I love these graphics love them. I love the fact that the characters don't blend in with the damn backgrounds like they do in Modern Warfare, okay? Uh, I understand war, you know, war is supposed to be realistic and shit, but like, when you have OGs, like, I, oh my god, I couldn't even play Modern Warfare 3, because I would just be running around, and then i get shot by like a fucking sand dune, and I'd be like, what the hell was that? And I'd check the replay, and there's a guy sitting in the sand with his shit the graphics literally blended in. It was horrible, for me, at least. And Ghost was not even... Ghost looked like it was dingy, like it was all grayish or something. I hated it. Um, but I love the Black Ops graphics, and that continues with this one. The graphics really pop. Um, the scenery is incredible. The colors are like... Like I said, they pop. They, they, you, they catch your eye. Everything catches your eye, you know? I find it myself, when I first started playing mm -hmm. multiplayer, I was just like looking at fucking... Um, bushes and stuff, because I was like, wow, this looks really good. So, the graphics were very, very solid, very good. Um, the gameplay, you know, what can you say? It's Call of Duty. It's going to piss you off, but you're always going to keep coming back to it, just like in, like a fucking like a girlfriend, sort of. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's the standard, uh, standard thing, domination, uh, Search and Destroy, Demolition, Team Deathmatch, all the same stuff, Kill Confirmed. I don't think any any new uh, game types are introduced, at least not that I noticed. Um, uh, it, the, the theme in this one, is, you know, Call of Duty is running out of ideas, so it just keeps moving up futuristically, but this one is... is I don't know how futuristic Advanced Warfare was, but this, this is pretty futuristic. The campaign actually takes place in like 2600 or something, something like crazy. Um, so yeah, obviously you got the jetpacks, which, if you saw the, uh, you know, the gameplay or whatever, if, if you've been paying attention, um, the jetpack, it, 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 I thought it was really gonna piss me off, cause like, I don't know about you, but I play Domination all the time, and when I'm playing Domination, I, I go for the flag and I'm freaking panicking, especially at B, I am panicking, cause I can't, cover four places at once or whatever and now I gotta worry about the sky and also they can swim too so you can worry if there's a, if there's water around you gotta worry about that them jumping out of the water like Shamu and shooting you down so there's all that you have to worry about but it actually does not take away like it, it it's more stressful and it's Call of Duty so you're gonna be on edge constantly but it's not like more ridiculous than any other Call of Duty. So, like, I'd say it's even less. I think Black Ops 1 was the most ridiculous game. Like, I love that game, but the, like, so much stupid stuff happened to me in that game, and not as much stupid stuff has happened to me in this one. I don't know if that's just by chance, or if there's a reason for it. Like, they fixed up all the um, dynamics of the game. I don't know, but... Uh, also, you can't knife unless you, like, actually have a knife. Like, your melee is just, like, kind of like Halo, where you just go like that. 
and sometimes uh, you have to hit him in a certain spot. It says nose breaking. You can get him in one kill, but or one hit, but usually it's a two hit thing. So there's that. It's just minor changes, you know. The jetpack you can run on walls, which is awesome. Uh, swimming, and also big change. The biggest change in the multiplayer is you get specialists, which is the, I don't know how many. There's maybe twelve of them, and you get to pick, and they all. It's kind of like a kill streak. Not it's like you can die with it, but the more points you get, you get an ability. Each specialist has two abilities. So, f for example, there's someone called the Outrider who I found was my favorite. And she had this bow and arrow type thing. And uh, once you got your skill, you, you know, you got your points in it, it, there's this little circle and it goes all the way around and you unlock it. You press the two triggers, the, not the triggers, uh, RB, LB. You press them both and then you get a freaking crossbow, which is sick, like Daryl in The Walking Dead. And it explodes too. It's kind of like the explosive one from Black Ops 1. And I think it was in 2 as well, but it's way cooler and it shoots faster. Yeah, it's, it's really awesome. There's a lot of them like that. So that's awesome. And in the end of the game, it shows the three best performers on the winning side. And what I thought was really cool, updated recently, like some people think it's annoying, like the whip and all that. It is kind of annoying, but I just think it's cool that they added it to Black Ops. They put the whip in it. They put a uh, hotline bling, you know, Drake's dance moves in it. Uh, and the dab, or what, whatever the hell this thing is, the dap, a dab, yeah, the dab, I get confused with daps, but yeah, it's a dab, um, they put that shit in it, it's pretty funny, um, so yeah, overall, I really like the, uh, online gameplay, I liked it a lot, alright, now the campaign, the campaign, it started off weird and confusing, you're fighting robots, which I like, cause I fucking hate robots, and I, I, I'm panicking about the robots taking over the world. First, like, zombies, I was a little scared, but then I realized it's not really gonna, it's, like, impossible. Then, um, aliens sort of scare me, but I figured that would've fucking happened already. But robots, like, we're building technology. Robots are gonna happen. You know, that shit is coming. And it's scaring me. That, that is scary, and also bring back dinosaurs. Because scientists can do that shit, and I do not want to die from a fucking raptor. Um, but anyway, you get to shoot, uh, robots in the campaign. Which is awesome, because I love killing robots, like I said. Um, now, the campaign is pretty confusing. It doesn't really connect with any of the other the other two, I, I, unless I missed something huge. There was no connections. I think they mentioned somebody once. I think Reznov, maybe? They mentioned someone one time. And I was like, ooh, is this when the other campaigns come in? But no, it didn't. Uh, it, was, it just follows you. You can pick, you know, you can pick a guy or a girl character. It's a pretty generic character. I just picked a chick for the hell of it. Um, and you fight along with somebody, I forget his name, Hendrix, I think. Yeah, Hendrix. You fight along with Hendrix, and the thing about these, these characters is they're so advanced, uh, the times are so advanced, that they're like fused with robots or something. Like, they're half robot, like they're, well, I'm not going to spoil it, but their arms are half robot. Or not their, their whole body, pretty much. And then... Something like DMI, their their mind is partially robot. I don't want to blow uh, blow it for anybody, but um, yeah, it, it the campaigns don't really connect at all, and it gets really confusing. It's like Halo Four campaign, like you sort of don't know what the hell is going on, but it's not bad enough that you're gonna stop. And then it actually gets really good at the end, so it's worth it. You you might be dragging along thinking like, oh, this is stupid, but then at the end it it gets really interesting. Um, actually, one of my favorite characters named Taylor, he's played by that guy in NCIS, I forget his name, but he's really a badass. And he, they, they made him look exactly like the guy from NCIS, I love that, how they do that. And they had, um, Black Ops 2, they had somebody as well, his name's, uh, the guy from, um, The Usual Suspects. Uh, he's slipping, he's slipping in my mind, I'm tipping my tongue, I, I might remember it later in the video, but... Um, Kevin Spacey, he was in, I love how they add, you know, real life characters to the, to the campaigns, it's, it's really, really just a nice touch. Um, alright, moving on to the zombies, I didn't play a lot of the zombies, I played some of it, I, I played the hell out of Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 zombies, but, <clears throat> I haven't played a lot of the zombies as of yet, I'm, I'm sure I'll play it, but, uh, it was alright so far. It was very confusing they, to, you know, to keep zombies prominent and not just, oh, like, you know, recycling the same shit. 
like Nintendo does. Shout out to Nintendo. Um, they have to, you know, add more stuff. And when they add more stuff, it just confuses you because there's already more stuff from like, you know, they had Black Ops One or the original Zombies was pretty uh, easy. Then Black Ops One Zombies was pretty easy. Then two got a little bit more complicated. And now three is like there's a lot of stuff. At least in the one map I played, I just played the original map, where you know you're all the the, the criminals or whatever, like the boxer guy that beat somebody up, you know all that stuff, or the girl. Um, it's very that map is very uh, condensed. There's not really much room to run. Um, There's not really much room to run. Uh, but overall, it was decent. I liked uh, Black Ops 1 and 2 better so far. But I've only played the one map, so I can't really, you know, say if I loved the zombies yet because I haven't played all the maps. Um, the leveling system is pretty much the same as uh, the other ones. You know, you level your weapon up too. You can buy permanent unlocks for that weapon, so you can always have it. Uh, the way I play is I just... I use the first weapons and prestige them and then move up to the other one so I can kind of like, you know, master all the weapons. Because I can't play a game if there's no purpose. I can't just go and play Call of Duty just because I feel like it. I have to play, like, to accomplish something. So I'm accomplishing leveling up these weapons. And overall, I thought this this was a really good game. It was worth, uh, I paid 64 but I'm pretty sure that you can get it for like 40 or 30 at GameStop for like the past few months, I've seen it at GameStop for like way cheaper. I don't know why, but um, yeah, it was a very good game. I'll give this game like a, well, first off, I'll, I'll give the multiplayer like a solid 8 out of 10. I'll give the um, campaign, I don't know, maybe a 7. I like the other ones better. This one was decent. It was pretty smart, but you just like, you had to really pay attention to it. And it's Call of Duty, so you don't really give it your full attention. You're kind of just running around and shooting. Um, but if you really do pay full attention, I think you'll get a lot out of that campaign. I think the campaign is 7. And I can't really say what I would get the zombies, because I haven't played it too much, so I don't want to be biased. So, yeah, that's the video, guys. Thanks for watching.